Hey, welcome back. Before I moved to North Carolina to plant Focus Church several years ago, I grew up in Spain because my parents are missionaries and then started my vocational ministry career in the state of Florida in a town called Okeechobee. And in this town, I was the youth pastor. And so I did what most youth pastors did during that time. I don't know if they still do this or not, but we tried to attend sporting events and different activities that the students were participating in to show our support and to kind of meet their friends and other people and to be a presence in the community. And I remember going to high school football games, Friday nights, Okeechobee High School, and they had a star football player. His name is Lonnie Pryor. Now, Lottie Pryor uh, later on went to Florida State University to play football, and then he was also picked up by an NFL team. So he's an NFL football player, um, or was at the time. And Lonnie Pryor in high school was an incredible athlete. It was amazing to watch. It wasn't your typical high school football games when Lonnie Pryor was playing. So Friday Night Lights were all there. I'm meeting all the kids. I'm saying hello to the parents. And then when, when the game starts, everyone's eyes are on Lonnie. He was the best athlete by a lot, by a high percentage, a high percentage. He was one of the, the highest, most capable uh, athletes I've ever seen in my entire life with my own two eyes. Actually, the only NFL player that I've ever met in person that I've had actual conversation with was Lonnie Pryor when he was in high school. The team, Okeechobee High School, only had one play. That was give the ball to Lonnie Pryor. I don't know what they called the play uh, in the headset. I don't know what they called the play in the playbook. I don't know what the defense called the play. I don't know what Lonnie called the play or the quarterback called the play. I don't know what they named the play, but I just called it. They're going to give the ball to Lonnie Pryor. It was so easy to predict, but we knew that if Lonnie Pryor got the ball, he's going to bust through the defense. He's going to go and, and juke and jive and, and get to the end zone faster than anyone else on the team. Even the opposition knew the play. Even the defense knew the play, yet it was still the most effective way to get the ball into the end zone. Isn't that interesting? That even though everyone on both sides of the field, the opposition and the offense, both the fans on, on one side of the field and the fans on the other, no matter what, everyone, 100% of the people in that whole stadium knew that Lonnie Pryor was getting the ball. See, there are some seasons where predictability is not the enemy. There are some seasons in church growth where it's okay to just run the play. It's okay to just do the thing that God has called you to do consistently. It is okay sometimes to be predictable with what God has called you to do and to steady the ship and to run the race that has been marked out for you with perseverance. Why? Because sometimes we find that convention is actually more effective than reinvention. Let me say that one more time. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes convention is actually better than reinvention. You'll actually make more progress by staying consistent in what you know than trying to figure out what to do. Let me say that one more time. You will make more progress in trying to figure out, and you will make more progress in staying with what you know than trying to figure out what to do. In seasons, some seasons, the same play goes a long way. I don't know what that means for you today, but what that means for me is I should preach the Bible with the same passion and same conviction every single Sunday. That I don't have to come up with the new latest and greatest technology, that sometimes it's just running the play. Sometimes it's just greeting the guest at the door when I dismiss the service. Sometimes it's just following up with that email as fast as I possibly can. Sometimes it's just showing up in the hospital room and praying with that sick uh, church member. Sometimes you just run the play and over the long haul, in the long run, the play, when you run the same play, consistency and predictability sometimes isn't the enemy. The other side of that coin is if you're stuck in a rut and it's not effective, you can add some some trickery to your play, right? Some add some trickery to the football field. But what I know is that when you have something that works, no need to reinvent it. Why? Because convention sometimes 
is better than reinvention. God bless.